So this study involved 74 fetuses, correct? Oh, I don't remember exactly how many. To turn to page 12 of the study. Yeah, 76. 76. Mm -hmm. And uh, these fetuses uh, were th all three months or older when aborted, correct? Yes. Okay. And these were all normally developed fetuses, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, these included fetuses that were aborted for social and psychiatric reasons, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, what organs did you harvest from these fetuses? Well, I didn't personally harvest any but uh, a, a whole range of uh, tissues were harvested um, by uh, co-workers. Okay. And these pieces were then cut up into little pieces, right? Yes. And they were cultured? Yes. Okay. Um, some of the pieces of the fetuses were pituitary gland. That were that were chopped up into pieces to, mm -hmm. okay, included the lung of the fetuses. Yes. Okay, included the skin. Yes. Kidney. Yes. Spleen. Yes. Heart. Y yes. Okay. And, and tongue. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't recall, but yeah, probably yes. Um, so, uh, I I just want to make sure I understand in 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 your entire career. And this was just one study, so I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you again. In your t entire career, how many fetuses have you worked with? Um, well, I don't remember the exact number, but uh, quite a few when we were studying them uh, originally, before we decided to use them to make vaccines. Do you have any sense? I mean, this one study had 76. How many other studies did you have that you used aborted fetuses oh, for? Oh, I, I don't remember how many. You're, you're aware, are you aware that the, one of the uh, objections to vaccination by the plaintiff in this case is the inclusion of aborted fetal tissue in the development of vaccines and the fact that it's actually part of the ingredients of vaccines? Yeah, I'm aware of those objections. The okay. uh, Catholic Church has actually issued a document on that which says that individuals who need the vaccine should receive the vaccines regardless of the fact. And that, uh, that uh, um, I, I think it implies that I am the individual who will go to hell because of the use of aborted okay. tissues, which you, I am glad do you know to, to do. Okay. Do you know if the mother is Catholic? I have no idea. Okay. Um, so but she should consult her priest. If she has a, if, if she's in fact Christian, I guess, right? In, mm -hmm. in any event. Um, uh, so we got 76 in this study. Would you approximate it's been a few hundred fetuses? Oh, no, I don't think it was that many. Okay. It was probably not many more than in this paper. Uh -huh. And I should stipulate that we had nothing to do with the uh, cause of the abortion. Mm -hmm. um, some of these were for psychiatric institutions, correct? Uh, actually, uh, all I can say is that uh, the, the fetuses that I personally worked with actually came from Sweden, uh, uh, from a Swedish co-worker. Uh, and so uh, I, uh, in no case, uh, was able to determine w what exactly the reason for the abortion was. I'm just asking you, some of the fetuses that you did use did come from abortions from people who were in psychiatric institutions, correct? I don't know that. Um, what I'm telling you is that I got them from a co-worker, and uh, if it's stated in the paper, uh, it's true, but otherwise, I do not know. Okay, so if it's in the paper, you don't contest it, right? I don't contest it, okay. no. Um, have you ever used orphans to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. 
Have you ever used the mentally handicapped to study an experimental vaccine? Um, I don't recollect ever doing studies in uh, mentally handicapped individuals. Um, uh, at the time, in the 1960s, it was not an uncommon uh, practice. So, um, you're saying, I'm, I'm not clear on your answer, I'm sorry, did you, did have you, have you ever used the mentally handicapped to study an experimental vaccine? What I'm saying is I don't re recall specifically having done that, but that um, in the 1960s, it was not unusual to do that, and I, I wouldn't deny that uh, I may have done so. Okay. There's an article entitled Attenuation of RA273 Rubella Virus in WI38 Human Diploid Cells. Are you familiar with that article? Yes. Okay. Uh, in that article, one of the things it says... Uh, is 13, is, is one of the things it says, is 13 seronegative, mentally retarded children were given RA-273 vaccine. Okay, well, then that's, in that case, that's what I did. Okay. Um, have you ever expressed that it's better to perform experiments on those less likely to be able to contribute to society? such as children with handicap than with children without or adults without handicaps? Um, I don't remember specifically, but it's uh, possible. Uh, uh, and again, I repeat that in the 1960s, uh, that was more or less uh, common practice. Um, I've since changed my mind, but um, uh, those were, that was a long time ago. Do you remember ever writing a, uh, to the editor of Ethics on Human Experimentation? Uh, I don't remember specifically, but I may well have. Okay. Um, we'll mark this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to hand you with some markers, Exhibit 43. Do you recognize uh, this letter you wrote to the editor? Yes. Okay. Is, did you write this letter? Yes. Okay. Um, is one of the things you wrote... Um, the question is whether we are to have experiments performed on fully functioning adults and on children who are potentially contributors to society or to perform initial studies in children and adults who are human in form but not in social potential. Yes. Okay. It may be objected that this question implies a Nazi philosophy, but I do not think that it is difficult to distinguish non-functioning persons from members of ethnic, racial, economic, or other groups. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Have you ever used babies of mothers in prison to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. Have you ever used individuals under col colonial rule to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. Okay. Did you do so in the Belgian Congo? Yes. Did that experiment involve almost a million people? Well, um, well, all right, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 